Hey everyone, I'm Taylor Knight with Straight Arrow News. Social media has gotten kind of dirty lately, and no, get your mind out of the gutter. We're talking about celebrities sharing how little they shower and bathe. For example, Matthew McConaughey says he doesn't wear deodorant, Ew. while Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis say they only bathe their kids when they see dirt on them, Yuck. and Jake Gyllenhaal says he finds it unnecessary to bathe that often. Ew. So before you change your hygiene habits, let's bring in Straight Arrow News medical expert, Dr. Coley. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to talk about hygiene. Are these celebrities on to something? Should people bathe less? Can you explain the benefits if someone bathes less? You know, there are some people who it's probably beneficial to bathe less rather than more often. And these are the people that have skin disorders or any kind of conditions, inflammatory type of conditions that can affect the skin. Because when you bathe, you end up using soaps, chemicals, gels to, you know, slough up that bacteria, but it can also really dry out the skin. And if you overbathe or you bathe too long or too often, you can actually get cracks or breakdown of the skin's barrier as well. How often should someone shower? Is there a rule? Can you give us the lowdown of that? Usually a good rule of thumb is about once a day you should take a shower. And then what are the health benefits if someone does shower daily or depending on their body, what are the health benefits when it comes to showering often? Believe it or not, when you're showering, you're not just smelling good, you're actually getting rid of dead skin cells and bacteria. So you can reduce your likelihood of having infections such as genital infections, yeast infections, skin infections. You can even reduce likelihood of having sinus type of infections because the steam in the shower helps to open things up and it can help to clear your nasal passages. Of course, washing your hands also helps to reduce the incidence of respiratory, sinus, and upper airway infection. Could you give us a time frame? What is too long? Or is that, again, just depend on the person? You know, I think if you're starting to have a smell, that's too long. But essentially, I would say more than two or three days is probably not a good idea. Even if you can't get into the shower for any medical reason or any other reason, you at least want to sponge off. Again, just to reduce that bacterial count on your skin and make sure that you're getting rid of anything that could be increasing your risk for health problems. So if I'm strolling down the grocery aisle, what hygiene products are necessary for everyday use? So I like to think of it from head to toe, so to speak. So you definitely want something to wash your hair. You don't have to wash your hair every day, but every few days, again, you wanna get rid of those dead scalp cells. You want something to wash your face, because if you don't do that, you have a higher risk of acne. You have a higher risk of other types of skin conditions, inflammatory skin conditions that can occur. Um, so you want something to wash your face, your teeth, you can't forget about those. You wanna make sure you get your toothbrush, your toothpaste, your floss, and all of those types of things. And then your body, some kind of body wash or soap, just to make sure, again, you're getting rid of all that bacteria and get into all of those little spaces. So get in between your toes, get down there near your genitals, make sure you're cleaning properly and getting rid of anything that could be leading to disease. Is there anything else you could share with us about hygiene, the daily routine people should follow, or just anything that comes to your mind? So if you have good hygiene, it helps your social and behavioral health as well, because other people obviously receive you better if you have good hygiene and you're staying clean and healthy. So all of those are really good reasons to keep your body clean and healthy and give yourself some TLC and make sure you're taking care of your body, not just from the inside, but from the outside as well. Wow, thank you so much. And thank you for this interview, getting us straight with all these hygiene facts. We really appreciate you for spending this time with us today. Thank you. My pleasure. And, and don't forget to take that shower. I won't. <laughs>